Today's show, everybody, folks. My guest tonight is an Academy Award winning actress and two time Grammy winning singer. You know, from Dream Girls and The Color Purple, she now plays Aretha Franklin in her new film, Respect. Give me just a little bit. Welcome back to The Late Show, Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> yes, I'm clearly not the only one who's excited. Now, wow. last time, <laughs> last time uh, you were here, we talked. We talked about Aretha Franklin, and the, you already had a relationship with her before working on this project. And the fact that she handpicked you as the person she wanted to play her in her biopic. So, what you already had this relationship. Was there anything that you learned about playing Aretha Franklin that you didn't already know from your years of friendship? You know. I didn't know about how close her and Dr. King were, you know, and how much she was a part of activism. Yeah. Is that what this is? I got a photo here. Is that what... You see? Yeah, what she... <laughs> I know that, like, uh, staple singers and folks who used to open for him, would, would she also perform? Yeah, like, she traveled with him during the movement. Like, she was a voice of it. She used her platform to, like, help shift the movement and inspire people during that time. Like, that's powerful, you know? I understand. I understand. You also, you also recently uh, had a chance uh, to go to Detroit to her childhood home, and this is you oh. with members of her family. Yes. Outside in her home in Detroit. That was my favorite. What was part. that like? What was that like? That was my favorite part. So there is her granddaughter Grace right there, and this is her childhood home. And she said they wanted them to take me back to her childhood home, and her grandbaby saying. Ain't no way, right there on the steps. And that's Grace and this Victory and Jordan. It was such a beautiful moment because we reminisce on our favorite moments of hers and her songs. Well, I mean, you and Aretha Franklin spoke a lot in the last 10 years of her life. And I was wondering, what was the last thing y'all talked about? Well, she told me what she had eaten. <laughs> Do you mind sharing with us? It was she... as if she could taste it on I don't remember what that meal was. And then she sang to me on that call. I can't remember the song. It was by the Isley Brothers. And she said, Jennifer, now that's the Isley Brothers. And I said, yes, ma'am, I know. And then my son is a cook, too. So I ended up telling her about him cooking and sending her a video. Because she was so present. She always knew what was going on, even in my life. I'm like, you know that? Like, yeah, so. How long was this before she died? Um, whew, maybe less than a week. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I feel as though I was one of the last people to hear from her. Yeah. Wow. Maybe one of the last people to hear her sing. And hear her sing, because she sang wow. on that call. Yep. Um, did you, by any chance, ever see her sing at the uh, Kennedy Center Honors? Uh, when she sang for Carole King, when Carole King won the Kennedy Center Honor? Yeah, I got to watch it from TV. Though. I'm so mad I wasn't there. They I was host. That I was hosting. Moment. 
That's my only. That's my, my only Aretha really? moment is that I was hosting that night, so I was just in the wings watching her. That's a special moment. It to have. was a special moment. It was only a few years ago, and she comes out with the pocketbook and puts yes, it on and the piano. Yes, and puts it on the piano <laughs> with a big oh fur. Oh my god! And then she starts <laughs> off really soft and really low. And I thought, I said to the stagehand next to me, I said, "Oh, I wish I had seen her when she still had, you know, still had the pipes." And 45 <laughs> seconds, he, he looks at me, he looks back at her, and 45 seconds later, I turned to him and I said, I'm an idiot. <laughs> she, she stood up and absolutely burned the house to the she ground. Did. She had it right up until the very end. Yes. Extraordinary. Now, um, you got to work with Carol King herself, the Kennedy Center honoree and the legend, the woman who wrote, yes. You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. You guys wrote a song together, an original song for this movie. What was that like to work a with a living legend uh, like that? A dream to work with Carol King. So Jamie Hartman was also a songwriter mm -hmm. on the song, and he came up with the idea, like, Carol King should write the title track. I said, Carol King should write the title track. So she came in, and it was all over Zoom, because it was during a pandemic. Oh, sure. So we, like, you know, had our conversations over Zoom. And she spoke from her personal experience with Aretha, and so did I. And it just happened to like parallel with the the narrative of the film, and that's where the song "Singing My Way Home" "Here I Am" came from. And she said, "Jennifer, you got to write on the song." And I'm like, "I get to sing it and write on it." You know what I mean? Like, what is that to work with Carol King? Because who better than mm -hmm. to have Carol King like put the bow and the cherry on the top of the tribute in film to Aretha Franklin? Um, now, something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, your connection back to Aretha Franklin actually goes back to before you even knew Aretha Franklin. The first time most people in America got to hear you sing was your audition for American Idol. Of course, <laughs> your, 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 your breakout. Let Jim, let, let's show him what she sang. Oh. All right, what you gonna sing? Share Your Love With Me by Aretha Franklin. Okay. Good, okay, right. go for it. All right. It's an evil wind that blows no good yeah, it's a sad heart that won't love like I know it should. Oh, how lonesome you must be. It's a shame if you don't share some of your love with me. That's baby J. Hop. Don't you play. <laughs> Don't you do it! <laughs> Some of your love with me. Why That's was that song? song? Why'd you choose that song? Because I was going to a singing competition. You gotta get the best if you're gonna try to be in a competition. So who better to go get than Aretha Franklin? And I was the kind of pull songs at the Woodworth going as a kid. Yeah. So I found that song and I said, I'm singing Aretha Franklin. And I did. <laughs> and now I'm playing her. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> When you look back at that, when you look when you look back at that, do you want to give advice to that young woman about how she's singing that song? Well, like, are you happy with that performance? You know, I'm, I was a little nervous, obviously. Um, I would say, Jennifer, don't back yourself up too, because I sang the lead and I backed myself up, and then I'm gonna roll it back. I say, it's show me some of your love, love with me. <laughs> Was the sweet inspiration and all. Jennifer. You okay. could do it all. You could do it all. Now, you're saying you didn't want John to play that song, you jump right in, but you guys are actually going to be performing in the same venue on August 21st, I believe, because you're both doing the New York Reopens yes. uh, concert, the, the, uh, the homecoming concert celebration. I'm Thank such a fan. Have you guys ever performed together before? No, we haven't. We haven't. We haven't performed together yet. I don't know. We got to do it. We got to do I'm it. I'm waiting for that opportunity as well. I'm such a fan, so well, I can't wait to see him. Let's try to figure out an opportunity in just a minute. But right okay. now, we, we, we've got to take a little bit of a commercial break. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Jennifer Hudson, and she is going to burn the place to the ground. <laughs>